Since 1983, working people have been paying extra Social Security taxes in order to prepare for the day when the baby boomers retired. Historically, we only collected enough Social Security taxes to pay for the benefits that were going out to senior citizens in that year. But in 1983, Congress recognized that, wait a minute, when the baby boomers retire, the Social Security bill is going to go way up. So we need to establish a piggy bank to save for that time, and we're going to do that by charging people extra taxes now. Well, we've been paying the extra taxes, but they haven't been used to establish a piggy bank to pay for Social Security for the baby boomers. The rest of the federal government has been borrowing that money in order to pay for tax cuts for the wealthy, in order to pay for the war in Iraq, and on and on. For a couple of years under Bill Clinton, we were saving the Social Security surplus. Most of the time, we haven't. Now, the people who've been paying those extra taxes for years are entitled to their benefits because if the money had been saved, Social Security would be fine until at least the year 2040. So we need to make sure that the federal government has the money to meet its obligation under Social Security. That's one of the reasons I think that we need to start taxing people who make their money buying and selling stock at the same rate as people who have regular jobs. I also think we're gonna to need to ask people who make over 100,000 a year to pay Social Security tax on all their income. Right now, if you make a million bucks a year, you only pay Social Security tax on the first 100000 I think we're going to have to change that in order to ensure that we can pay promised Social Security benefits. And I think that because largely Social Security has been rated to pay for tax cuts for wealthier folks, it makes sense to ask wealthier folks to help repay the debt to Social Security.